he has 23 cards in his grave. It is it how? How did he get 23 cards? 20 it's turn 1. It's turn 1. It's turn 1 and he has 23 cards in his grave and I don't even think he's done. So Normally we don't watch short replays cuz they normally don't have the entertainment value. But Dro Dro normally give us some fire. So let's go ahead and jump into this replay. Oh god. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it guys? This man is never punished and he never ceases to amaze me. He's going to be playing Chaos Light Sworn and this hand does not look amazing. Okay? He has Minerva, he has uh, Trick Clown, he has Malicious, he has Danger Nessie and the Charger Light Brigade. I know for a fact this man ain't going first because this is sheesh. Let's see how. Oh my God, he's going first. Charge of the Light Brigade. Let's go. <laughs> this man needs to hit sauce. Charge of the Light Brigade to add Raiden, Hand of Light Sword. That's normally when you want to add. Then Raiden to send two. It's going to get impermed. Oh God, we already started off on the wrong foot. This man doesn't know yet. Dro always come with the fro stuff. He's going to go ahead and start off with Danger Nessie. Hitting the Destiny Hero Malicious. Yo! Nessie to the side of build in, drawing one card. Activating the effect of Destiny Hero Malicious to summon another Malicious. Then Blackwing Zephyros to bounce the Nessie. I swear, if he activates Danger Nessie and gets to summon Danger Nessie, this man is cracked. He's cracked. He's cracked. That's all it is. So he'll summon Zephyros to his side of the field, and he won't do that. He'll actually Synchro Summon into Chaotic Ruler here. He still can do it. Oh, my God. Activating the effect of Chaotic Ruler here over Starly Safer, another Danger Nessie, Wolf, Foolish Burial, and the White Dragon for his fifth? Nani! Adding the White Dragon to your hand, it's almost obvious. Sending a Wolf to the graveyard. He'll get the Wolf to his side of the field. He'll then summon white and then use both of those monsters for an Exceed summon. Minerva the Exalted. How many how many Light Sworns do you guys think he'll mill off of this? Let me know. How many Light Sworns will he hit off of Minerva, guys? I'm curious. I'm curious. Minerva effect. One. Okay, just one. Just one. And he drew Wolf. You don't want to draw Wolf, so just one. Okay, that's fair. He'll then use Danger Nessie effect hitting Minerva. Summoning Nessie back to his side of the field again, drawing a card, and then triggering the Minerva. Yo! Ho, ho, ho. Why doesn't this man get punished? Yo, now he has three monsters of the same attribute with different types on the field. It's going to get messy. Danger Mothman gets... Oh, no. He's just going to go ahead and make the Opelousa Bow of the Goddess. No, he's not even making that. He doesn't care. He's making this Saryuja here. Saryuja is going to go ahead and draw three cards, putting two back to the bottom. Then Chaos facing the Trick Clown into a Black Dragon Calib Serpent. He'll then activate Trick Clown to be able to summon itself. Saryuja to summon the Lumina. Lumina to summon Lumina. And now Lumina discarding the Jet Synchron. That'll summon the Raiden. Is he going to make Dante too? How many cards is this man going to send from his deck to the graveyard? Milling a wolf? He has 23 cards in his grave. In his, it, how? How did he get 23 cards? 20, it's turn one. It's turn one. It's turn one. And he has 23 cards in his grave. And I don't even think he's done. He'll special summon the wolf to his side of the field. 14. 14 cards. In the <laughs> then he'll get his other wolf. And now he's going to secret summon. Look, how many times is he going to skate around curious and then make curious, guys? I'm curious. He'll then use curious as effect. Fairy Tale Snow, duh. He has 23 cards in Graveyard. Of course he'll do that. Curious will then send three, and he'll Link Summon again. Chad, I have not seen a Wimpy or Opelousa of the Goddess. 
I have not seen a wimpier Appaloosa bow of the goddess chat. He'll then summon black, then activate Chaos Space, putting white to the bottom of his deck. He'll then Synchro Summon 4-8. Boral Beast Sarvage Dragon will definitely attach that, uh, that, uh, that Saryuja. Adding the White Dragon to his hand and then attaching the Saryuja. Four counters, 4,400 attack. He'll then Special Summon the Chaotic Ruler. Jet Synchron Activate. Why is he still going? Why are you still summoning cards? And now Minerva will send Plague off top. Using both of those monsters, he'll Synchro Summon into a Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. And then Seyfert will allow him to banish it to add a Levianir to his hand. He's going to banish three darks to rip a card out of his opponent's hand, guys. Yo! So his opponent's going to start off with four cards and then Plague to put the top card. He's going to go ahead and Synchro Summon again. Who would have guessed? But on the floor. Yo, I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. I am so traumatized every single time I see Cubandro play. Two disruption or two disruption Opelousa may not seem like much, right? There's a Borlo Savage Dragon with four counters, guys. Four. Not one, not two, not three, but four. He also made a hot red dragon archfiend abyss, which can negate again, and a bet on the floor, which can not only negate. It can go ahead and cycle itself into another monster. But here's the kicker. 20. This man is Jumpman. He's Jordan. He's Jordan. He has Fairy Tail Snow. It can use this effect three times. Three times, guys. What is going on here? How do you beat this board? How do you beat this? How do you beat this board? How do you beat this board? Because even Dark Ruler no more. He still has Fairy Tail Snow that can use this effect three times. Four times if he gets rid of the cards on his field. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, well, no, no, no. He's going to use Fairy Tail Snow here. Let's go. Let's see if he adds Icy to the cake and makes something like an Abyss Dweller. <laughs> Yo, he's going to exceed something. What, are you, what is the opponent playing? <laughs> Yo. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. He just draws it quick. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Because this deck is ridiculous. That was just ridiculous. How how many times does Light Sworn Chaos need to make boards like this? Before we got to give it its respect. Cubandro with the easily. Easily. The five out of five replay showing us that chaos light sworn is a menace to deal with inside of this format. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did go ahead and check out these videos for more master dual content and for TCG Cali, you can go ahead and check out this video as I catch you on the next one.